Hello and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. This week, Simon has been teaching Bruce how to remove all the old nails and screws from the pallet wood that we've been collecting and also from the wood that we reclaimed when we took down the old lean-to earlier this year. Yeah. I think it's absolutely amazing that the boys are learning so many life skills that they'll be able to use later on in life. Plus, it means that we can reuse most of the wood that we've got in the mini hay barn that we're going to be building later on in the year. I also got these electric isolator handles and put them onto the area that I fenced off in our last vlog. This would just make it a lot easier for us to get in and out of this area without getting shocked ourselves. They're really easy to add. All you have to do is tie your electric fence tape or electric rope in our case onto the end of the handle and then make sure the end that actually clips back onto the electric rope connects effectively. I also added another paddock area with electric fence next to the one that I put up last week, just so I've got a bit of a paddock area that I can put the horses in when we do eventually get round to burning the ragwort. As well as getting the old nails and screws out of the good wood, they also got a load of nails and screws out of the wood that isn't so great and it's rotted and it's been left out in the wet. So it's only really any good for burning. So we're going to use that to help us burn the old ragwort pile. <laughs> that, if you can get that one out, Bruce, you can get any of them out. There's loads in that as well. So is this one free now? Yeah. This one has got no wood on it. My hand's are really shaky. Yep, I know what you're thinking. Surely it can't be that time of year already when we have to start haying. Well, I'm afraid it is. Hey, smells really nice. <laughs> I really want to climb it. Mm. <coughs> so this week it's Diwali and then a few days later it's bonfire night. So there have been an absolute ton of fireworks being let off and well to be honest my dogs are terrified of them and we've been having to keep an extra close eye on the horses because this year they do seem to be a hell of a lot louder and a lot more frequent than they usually are. Toby doesn't seem to be bothered by fireworks anymore, but Baby Dream was only a couple of months old the last time that he would have experienced fireworks. And Hope does tend to get a little bit frightened of random things, so I always think it's best to keep a closer eye on them at this time of year. There you go, I like that. Well, it looks like it's time for me to start haying so i'll be haying every day from now until probably march april time and thankfully the lovely chris and anna brought us down all those bales of hay earlier on in the year 
I've done something a little bit different this year. I've put the hay in the trees. I've hung them in the trees on baling twine because I think there's more chance of getting them walking about and having a little bit more exercise. And let's face it, if it's anything like last year, then Toby is just going to camp in that stable if I don't think of some more, I don't know, ingenious ways of giving him his hay. It's funny because he has never, ever liked being in a stable. And I've had him, well, I've had him longer than I haven't had him. I've had him most of my life. And I've never been able to stable him. He will literally dismantle parts of his body usually his chin and his size and his face he'll rub all his skin off if he's left in if he's left in a stable so yeah the fact that he loves being in there now is crazy but I think it's because he's got constant access and he knows if he's in there then he can leave whenever he wants to that does make a big difference you know I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who clicked on my buy me a coffee link and bought us a coffee which in our world means that you've bought us a sack of carrots or a bale of hay so thank you so much for that and I thought I could link the two things because I can add our lovely fresh new carrots to the hay bales. I think they're going to really like finding the carrots in there. Plus, because the net swings in the tree, it means it's going to be harder for them to get hold of it and it might make the hay last a bit longer. Let's put them into the other one. It's all about enriching their lives, isn't it? And they're going to find carrots in the hay. They'll probably camp out there now until I bring the next few nets over. <laughs> I'm also going to put some in the stables, but only a couple. And I'm going to put the clothes nets. I've got some clothes nets. I'm going to put them on the outside of the stable. So then they are in a few different places. When we do eventually get our track system, then it would be really nice if we could sink in some, uh, what are they called? telegraph poles and then we could have proper hooks on there so that we can hang the hay nets from there in random places around the track. I'm just going to take Hope down now so I can show her where the hay nets are. She'll show the others. At the minute they are eating all the grass down in the paddock. That's one good thing about that paddock. Yes it protects our caravan and we put it in there primarily so that we can bring the dogs down here because it's like chicken meshed all the way around. But it also protects the grass in there, protects the ground in there. So hopefully it won't be so muddy down here this year. But also, there's always lots of grass. Oh, what can you see? What is it, Dopey? Dopey Hope. Oh, is that nice? Find a carrot. Let me take this off. There we go. She's definitely lost some weight. Come on, old man. Come on, old man. Let's go and get some height down there. Come on, come with me. Good boy, come on. You're a good boy. Come on, Tobe. Toby, come. Good boy. 
good boy. This way, good boy. Toby's actually really good in the dark because he's almost completely blind. He's got 10% vision in his good eye, which means he can see shadows and things. But when it's really dark, and I don't think you can tell, but it's actually quite dark now, he can get around a lot better than any other horse I've ever known. Come on, Bert. Come on, Tobe. Good boy. Good boy, old man. Come, Toby, come. What's this? Good boy. Good boy, old man. Good boy. Did you find a carrot? Even though it was getting so super dark so quickly, the men were still at work. They managed to clear the nails and screws out of quite a good pile of wood. That will be so good for when we finally get to putting up our lean-to mini barn. Plus, now we've got some wood that we can use on bonfire night to be able to burn all the ragwort. Hello. You get the trunk as well. Tell me one of your best techniques. Yeah, but that was the things you already knew. Or um, cause breaking the wood, I get to, to um snap some screws in half. Get to snap some of the screws in half. How did you do that? Kept hit, keep hitting it. Wow. So that's the end of this quick little vlog. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and don't forget to give it a like if you've liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, bye bye.